Hi guys, today I'll show you how I change the fuel filter and I try to do it with as minimal leakage as possible. As for the fuel filter makers, there are a lot of compatibles to choose from and it depends on your location. First of all, I release pressure in the fuel tank and in the common rail, so that not to get a fountain when I disconnect fuel pipes. Normally, there shouldn't be any air flows when you open the fuel tank, but our jacks are not new and in some cases it's better to be on the safe side and make sure that the pressure inside the tank is equal to the atmosphere pressure. After that, I go to the engine bay and release the common rail pressure, which is much more important. There are several ways to do it. I could disconnect the plug under the seat and start the engine or remove the fuel pump relay and start the engine, but I prefer the easiest and the safest method. I just took all the racks and a thin screwdriver and released the pressure in the common rail, pressing at the valve core of the pressure test point. I wiped the fuel with the racks and did it very carefully so that not to spoil the valve core and not to get a fountain of fuel into my face. Meanwhile, I just want to tell that the majority of people are watching my videos without subscription. So just don't forget to press like and subscribe to the channel. You can do it just now to help me develop my channel. If you ask me how often the fuel filter should be changed, I can answer that it is rather cheap and I do it once a year, or at least together with every third oil change. After the pressure was released, I went on changing the fuel filter. The fuel filter can be found under the right rear door, you see. First of all, I unscrewed the 8mm bolt securing the filter, so that I could get better access to it when disconnecting the pipes and put one end of it into the bottle in case the fuel begins leaking. I accelerated the video to save your time. I pressed the clips of the fuel pipe connector with pliers and disconnected the fuel pipe. I put one end of the filter into the bottle and waited until the fuel stopped leaking from the filter. Here I made a mistake. I had to keep one end of the filter into the bottle to avoid the fuel spilling on earth. But I didn't think that there was quite a lot of fuel still remaining into the filter. So I took a new filter and installed it following the direction of flow shown with a narrow diagram. I connected the pipe from the tank side first. As you see, I repeat the process of removing the filter in a reverse order. The second step, I secure the filter with the bracket. The third step, I attach the other pipe to the filter. And the final step, I screwed the bolt securing the filter into the bracket.
the filter is installed, but I want to make sure that there will be no leakage when I start the engine and when the fuel will be pumped into the system under pressure. So I wipe the remnants of the fuel with the rex and start the engine. You see everything is ok. After that I go to the engine bay and check whether the fuel is leaking from the valve core at the fuel pressure test point. Everything is ok here too. Finally, I install the engine cover. If you like this video, just don't forget to press like and subscribe to the channel.